Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second update of my project plan for 2019. Just as a reminder, I am doing a rolling project plan, part of the hashtag team project plan started by Kat and Haley, the girls at Beauty News. They also have their own channels. Don't ever hesitate to go check them out. They're super fun and nice. I really like watching them. So I decided this year to take part to their challenge. And the idea is to do a full face of rolling project plan. So it's uh, products that you need to make a full face. And then every time you finish one, you will add another one. Every month there is a check-in and then quarterly you have the opportunity to switch products up. And that is to take into account the seasonal changes and maybe you don't want to have a very heavy foundation, blah, blah, the usual. My difference in this uh, challenge is that I do not have a lot of color cosmetics because I love color and color is the reason why I do makeup. So I will have a shop my stash with the colorful makeup that I use, so eyeshadow blushes, but I will uh, have a project plan for my base products and things that I want to use up. Now, um, actually a question to you guys. The question is, are these monthly check-ins interesting for you or are they boring? Because I'm thinking of actually just keeping them as a quarterly thing, so doing them on 3, 6, 9, 12 type of updates, but I'm more than happy to go through the updates with you also monthly. I just don't know that monthly there will be big changes um, in the products that I use. That say, said, please sound in the comments down below what you think because I just want to make videos you want to watch. I track my products anyways, so if you want to see them, please let me know. If you don't, also fine with me. <laughs> Now that I blabbed for an introduction that was infinite time long, let's get into the products. Let's start with the products that I have finished. Uh, one of them I don't have, but you saw in my empties, is the Ico um, Mascara. That was okay. It lasted me just over a few months and it was fine for what it was. I didn't per se enjoy it that much by itself as a um, as a mascara. I know that my lashes can look better, so I'm glad I finished it, and yeah, thank you, next. Then a uh, product that I finished is the MAC Skin Base. Now, this is the second time I filmed this video. I have a week in uh, um, difference, and that's because my audio was ruined in the other one. So in between that last check-in, which was at the end of February, and this one, which is at the beginning of March, um, I actually finished the max skin base sample that I was targeting. So um, I can tell you now that I do enjoy this. I do think that this really does um, make a difference in how my makeup stays on during the day. I've started wearing that sparingly and then I put a little bit more effort and I wore it every day. And if you apply a small amount, today I applied way too much, if you apply a small amount, it will do wonders for your skin. I really liked it. I um, don't know that I would buy a full size one. Maybe at the end of this year, once I finished all of the samples of primers that I have, I will pick one that, or I will have found one that really works and then I'll buy it. For now, this was nice to use. I could recommend it um, for any skin actually. It didn't dry, it didn't mattify, it just helped my makeup stay on longer. That was uh, its job and it did it well. So this one's finished. Then uh, exciting is also the amount that this uh, foundation has gone down. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. It's the one that I picked for winter and um, it's gone down quite a lot. And I, I have my phone here right now and then this went from 72.4 grams to 66.9 grams. So this is just over five grams of products that I used. This is quite a big bottle. There's 48 milliliters and a regular foundation is usually 30. So this is quite a big tube. I don't think I'm gonna finish it by the end of the winter because we're already having nice sunny days and I'm not gonna wear um, um, more medium or higher coverage foundation then. But I am happy with the amount that I'm using it now. Um, yeah, overall good progress there. Concealer is still this Maybelline Fit Me. I started it uh, last month, so not much uh, time with this one, 
but this went down by around or just under one gram from 60 from 16.4 to 15.6 and um, yeah the, i really like that so i, I don't mind uh, using it a lot and i can actually already see in the tube i don't know what's wrong with it but I, there's already a little bit probably it's because i saw it for example Powder wise, uh, the Infinite Fit Me um, powder, and uh, this, yeah, you can actually see through it now, approximately. Um, but we're nowhere near finishing this. There's 20 grams of product in here, and I only used two grams this month from 78.24, actually, one and a half, to um, 76.74. So, not a lot, but I'm using it every day. Um, this might mean that it will take me a year to finish it, but that's it. Okay, I guess. <laughs> the Infinite products continue with uh, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. This is never ending. I've had this in my project plan since 2018, the beginning of it. So this is really something that never finishes. We went from 8.52 grams to 8.11 grams so not much <laughs> i don't know how much is in here but um it doesn't seem to ever finish i keep squeezing and there's still product in here so that is that more infinite products but here i can really see some progress this is the nabla brow pot and uh, i have it in the shade mars which is the auburn one i am really enjoying this this is um yeah, I haven't even reached tan yet, which I thought I would by now. However, um, in January, I had done a very good job at getting deep into the pan. And then this month, I tried to get from the sides of the pan. If you can see it here, zoomed in, this is the progress there. Not much. And weight-wise, this also didn't go down much, only from 41.4 to 41.2 um, grams. So... This is also going to be infinite, however I enjoy it, so I don't mind. I might change it out though, we'll see, uh, because it takes me a little bit longer and it gives me a little bit more of a structured brow, so we'll see how that goes. My three mascaras that I'm uh, targeting, one is a brow gel actually, not a mascara, this is from Colourpop, and uh, again I used just 0.2 grams of this, it's nowhere near finished. I see that it's getting murky, like colored inside it's a clear brow gel it's not really clear anymore and i have to a bit scrape the sides but that is not a sign that it's almost done at all then uh, the mascara primer that is the lash sensational by maybelline this i also use every day and um this went from 16.4 to 16.12 so not much progress there either but i like it so i don't mind I just want to, you know, focus and track it and finish it. And then the new mascara, since I finished the Ico one, is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I actually like this. Um, it took a while to actually be nice. It was very wet. It would plump my lashes. And then now um, I think I started it. When did I start it? On the 13th of February. Now it's actually nice it lengthens and it separates my lashes so as usually you need a little bit of breaking time with them um, these uh, uh, mascaras but yeah not something i would spend this money on of course but uh, a decent mascara i'm not taking it at all a product i didn't do almost any any progress on is my kevin aquan sculpting powder and it's this guy right here there's a little bit of a dip i don't know if you can see it but the problem here is that i just don't contour i don't know i am sad because if i want to contour i would totally use this but this is very bulky um and i don't know what to do with it to be honest i'll give it another month and uh, i contour very little i rather bronze than contour so i'm not sure what to do with it i'm not sure I'll try using it a little bit more. Lip products. Uh, we have a Colourpop Rouge, that is the lippy pencil, and um, not a lot of progress here. Zero point zero eight grams of difference. Um, 
but I've used it and I've actually found that I really really love the formula of these I I actually really like this product so I'll uh, keep using it and this I entered last month because I wanted to use it paired with my Kiva and that's what I've been using it with I was honestly hoping to have this finished by next month ha! very very naive and um, irrealistic of me I know but um, I've been using it a little bit more than I would normally let's say twice a week instead of once a month or once every two months and I went from 17.08 to 16.91 grams. I know there's three grams of product in here and I know that we're under halfway, which means this is never gonna finish. Anyways, so it is. Um, the thing is also, I do not read really apply the lipstick during the day. I can't be bothered. So when I put this on and I have the camper, if at four o'clock I need it off, because it's itching or drying or I just want lip balm on my lips, I just take it off and put lip balm on. And speaking of lip balm, we're at the last drop style. This has also lasted forever. This is the Manolips 101 ointment and this is finishing. Not finished, but finishing. Um, I used three grams this month, which was um, in line with what I used last month, let's say. But this is really now at the end, you see. I started uh, tracking it here, I think it was October, November, December, and then in these two months I managed to like, finish it up. It's not finished yet, I expect it to be finished this month. And uh, I already went through what new mascara I put into my project pan, but the new primer that I'm uh, choosing to add is the Cover FX Blurring Primer. We will see. For a flawless airbrush look, apply every morning on a clean face, ideal to prime skin for foundation application. It's a primer. We'll see how I like it. It's again a small sample size. I don't buy primers. I either get samples from boxes or gifts with purchases, or I uh, received two as a gift recently. So, um, yeah, I am uh, not a believer, but I am open to be convinced. So, this is the new product in my project plan, and uh, that was it for this video. If you're curious about this makeup look, it will be one of the next videos coming up. I want to get the admin videos out. So you've seen my empties, you've seen my haul, um, or low buy fail, let's call it that way. This is a project plan. I'm gonna get into a little shop my stash next, because it's the videos that I like to watch the most, so I thought I would keep on doing them. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below how you want these to continue with monthly or quarterly. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.